Hello and welcome to BBC World News. An investigation into sabotage attacks on four oil tankers off the United Arab Emirates last month has concluded that it's very likely they were carried out by a state actor. Preliminary findings suggest limpet mines were attached to the vessels by divers operating from fast boats, an operation described in the report as highly sophisticated. The investigators don't blame a specific country, but the United States has accused Iran of being behind the attacks. Our Washington correspondent Chris Buckler has more. The details of these attacks could have come from a movie screenplay, frankly, rather than an official report. It says that fast boats were used to navigate the difficult waters in the Gulf and that specialist divers were deployed from those boats to fit limpet mines to the hulls of the ships below the waterline. And pictures have now been released of the damage caused to those Saudi, Norwegian and Emirati vessels. And you can see from the photographs the impact of those naval mines exploding after they've been fitted to the ships using magnets. No one was injured, but certainly they caused destruction. And an operation like that would have required expertise, coordination and indeed intelligence about the vessels. And that's why the preliminary findings of this report suggest that what they call a state actor was probably involved. Basically, an individual or an organisation linked to a state government. And while they don't name a country, certainly afterwards, the ambassador to the UN from Saudi Arabia suggested that as far as he was concerned, Iran bore responsibility. And that echoes some of what's been suggested by the White House National Security Advisor here in Washington, John Bolton, who pointed the finger very firmly at Tehran. Now, it should be pointed out that that has been firmly denied by Iran itself. And one of its allies at the UN, Russia, said that no evidence had been presented during this closed-door briefing to show that Iran had been involved. Nonetheless, you can imagine that this report is going to heighten tensions in the region. And it's also going to fuel concerns here in Washington about Tehran. Chris Buckler there. Well, the US has been steadily increasing its military presence in the Middle East since the beginning of May, when the Trump administration said it needed to send a clear message to the Iranian regime that any attack on United States interests or on those of its allies would be met with what it called unrelenting force. Our defence correspondent Jonathan Beale has been granted access to the USS Abraham Lincoln, one of the carriers now stationed in the Gulf. America's flexing its military muscle. Right up, close to Iran. The BBC was among the first media to fly on to the USS Abraham Lincoln since its hasty deployment here to the Arabian Sea. A response, says the Trump administration, to credible threats from the Iranian regime. An aircraft carrier loaded with warplanes is the most potent symbol of American military power. And sending close to Iran, just over the horizon, this is not just a deterrent, it's a warning too. The carrier and its dozens of jets have also been joined by long-range B-52 bombers, as well as hundreds more troops in the region. The US insists it's not looking for a fight. But to Iran, this all looks like sabre-rattling on steroids. So what justifies this response? I am absolutely convinced the intelligence is credible and that's why we're here. Iran was going to do something bad, was going to attack US forces. There was incredible in intelligence and that's why we're here. What would happen if Iran did do something? There would be immediate consequences. They're not revealing any more detail about that intelligence. And whatever the threat, this is also part of a concerted effort to try to force Iran to change its behaviour. The Trump administration has already turned its back on an international deal on Iran's nuclear programme and stepped up sanctions instead. The message now is confrontation, and that includes, if necessary, the use of military force. We are not looking for war. Uh, our, our key mission is deterrence. We are trying to add stability. However, if the United States is attacked, uh, if our interests are attacked, then we will respond with unrelenting force. With tensions simmering, the biggest fear now will be miscalculation by either side. One possible reason why so far this aircraft carrier has not sailed through the narrow Strait of Hormuz, 
the closest point to Iran. Jonathan Beale, BBC News, on the USS Abraham Lincoln.